Hi everyone, so today I have um, a specific, just a different video for you guys today. So today's video is going to be on a question that I get frequently asked, which is basically um, for those who are starting to um, collect pull-up or are thinking of buying a first pull-up. People usually ask me, Scarlett, what should be my first pull-up or um, what would be the best pull-up to start off with? Okay, so basically um, the dolls that I'm going to be showing you are going to be dolls that I consider to be the best to um, start off with. Why did I choose these dolls? Basically um, because one, price. They may, may be um, lower than other um, particular dolls. Two, because they're versatile. And three, because of their stock. So none of these dolls are in a particular order but I thought these would be the best to start off with alright so I chose six I was gonna choose ten but I was like you know what I don't wanna overwhelm you guys so I just chose six and let me get up to those okay so the first one that I think would be a good doll to start off with um, is Pulip Merrill so Pull Up Amaro is a doll, why do I think she is wonderful to start off, start off with? One is because she has a beautiful face up. This face up I think is pretty versatile if you want to change change her wig, she'll look great basically with any wig color I think. Um, she comes with a very decent stock. Why is her clip in her face? Hold on guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on girl. <laughs> So her stock is really good quality and um, basically she's a very very um, casual doll. I think that's one of the things that really stands out from her that I think would be best to start off with. Also her price, she's maybe what less than 110 I can't remember per se exactly the price. But compared to other pull-up dolls, um, she tends to be um, lower in price and I think she'll be, she'll, she'll be pretty. Also, um, her eyelids are simple, your basic eyeliner, okay, where's the thingy, I can't even find it, ah, where is it, <laughs> or her hair, or her hair guys, let me see, there it is, so, yeah, so I think she's just, she'll be a great starter doll, so that's one of them, um, also her eyes are really nice and they match nicely with her hair. I think okay so that's doll number one doll number two which is one of the newer release dolls would be um, per um, pull up Eloise I think she's a not an also nice starter doll because again her stock is really good quality she has this simple um, face up I think that goes really nice with her hair and so if you're into like darker wig dolls I think she'll be one for you and I think she'll look great in other outfits um, one of the things though I would suggest with her maybe her eye chips won't match well with other um, outfits um, maybe that'll be one to consider changing but again her price is also fairly low compared to other pull lip dolls so this is one of the, this is one of the reasons why I consider her to be one of the good starter dolls all right now another one is um, Dahlia Cinderella so why Dahlia Cinderella well because her face up her face up is beautiful she has like this bronzy these bronzy cheeks and her stock is very very good quality I think this is another doll that would look great and other outfits and her price also is not that high compared to other dolls and again if you're into blonde she would she's really she's really great she's really pretty her face up is gorgeous and if you didn't know um, in case you're starting to like watch my videos she's a collaboration with um, what should I call that she's supposed to be the made version of Cinderella alright my lighting is all weird alright so that's her and her stock amazing all right what else another one that I would say is beautiful to start off with is Nanette pull up Nanette 
One of the things though about Nanette, I'm gonna let you guys know who those who are starting to get into pull lip is her wig. Don't get scared once you get her. Her wig is very long, but I have it on a net because it's, it gets everywhere. It gets very frizzy. So I would recommend if possible, or if you like it, you could keep the wig. Just be careful how you handle the doll. But if if possible, I would say re-wig her because her hair would get everywhere. But one of the reasons why I chose her again, her face up. It's very versatile, it's very innocent, it's very appropriate, and I think she's just beautiful. Her stock is another thing that really stands out. It's very beautiful, it's very um, festive, but I would say that the stock, kind of the glitter parts of it kind of come off easily. But other than that, she is a great starter doll. Again, another one, I believe she's 14. She may be a little bit higher than the other ones that I just mentioned, but she's beautiful as a starter doll, I think. Another one, which you guys are going to be like, oh my god, for real, girl? Yes, I'm always going to back up my girl, Kiyomi. Kiyomi is another one that I think it's a great starter doll because of the price. Her face is very versatile. Her outfit could be worn in different ways, and she's only $103. Um, she has these beautiful glittery eye chips, and her wig color scheme is different. It's like a brown and blonde. It's pretty messy. I will let you guys know, those who are considering starting to collect. But overall, I think she is just beautiful to start off with, I think. And now, last but not least, I would say... The one that I recommend also for you to start off with is Pulip Alley. Pulip Alley is another one that I believe is so versatile. This girl looks so great in like practically any outfit. I've put different outfits on this doll and she always looks fabulous. So another one that I believe really, really is a great doll to start off with. Her face up is beautiful. Her wig is beautiful. It's like soft. Um... And the price, you can't beat that. She, if she is still available at PulipStyle.com, she's for $80, which which is the less expensive one compared to the, all the other dolls that I just shown you. And she comes with this beautiful bowl on her head, which I just took it off right now. But she is gorgeous. So another one that I believe is great for y'all is Pulip Alley. Just be aware that her heels always fall off easily, so don't freak out. And so this basically ends the starter doll video. I don't know what to call this video. So that's basically it. If you guys have any questions, um, especially regarding any of these dolls, I will post the links down below so you can look at the reviews. Or if you have any questions in general, please don't hesitate and ask. Um, I hope you guys found this um, video helpful. I just thought it would be a good idea to make it since I always get asked this question all the time. So that's basically it. Hope you guys have a great day and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye. <laughs>